driving through the country and the next thing you know you're coming down a steep grade into Buck's Pocket. Place is looking pretty awesome. This is our home for the next few days. Sweet home, Alabama. Here's the backyard of our campsite. Nice and wooded. There's a creek flowing through the back. Can't exactly see it, but you could definitely hear it. Matt's over here tinkering with the bike rack. Camp's all set up. We are ready for the night. We're going on our wood run. It's a little, a little sketchy through here. Gotta pay attention. Sort of. Look at that. So. It's a mess of driftwood. I don't know if you can hear the creek, it's out there. Oh, wait. It's coming from up there. So all of this is wash. When the river's high, which makes us a little nervous because that's our camper right there. This stuff's piled eight feet high. Well, four feet high. I'm getting another batch of firewood, folks. So this is that scavenger wood pile, driftwood pile I was talking about last night. Now you can see what's going on. It looks like this guy gets filled up pretty high, washes right through here, and luckily down over there, that's us on site nine, great site. Ranger said, pick it apart. We wonder if we're going to come across any critters in here. We're not too sure yet seems to be pretty quiet. Here's a good example of some of the sites that they have at the park. We're headed out to the hiking trail to see what kind of hiking they have. Nice park though, about 24 sites I think, reservable, half of them full hookup, big concrete pads, cool road getting in, you can get big rigs down here but it's a little tricky, you'll do it fine. Uh, we're on full hookup, 
Yeah, uh, one thing that was weird is when you reserve, you could just reserve a site, and when you get here, you pick what's what's available. We're on site nine at the very end. Great site, but there's we've been alone up until last night. But this is a wonderful park. Great hiking right from the park. Ah, if you do the, the heights at the top of the hill, you might want to run the car up there. It's a bit of a hoof up that hill. We've been really happy here. Huge playground for the kids. Old school too. It's kind of fun. There's some plastic stuff there for, looks like for little tykes. Look at that. Uh, I'm holding my coffee so I can't zoom in. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. Like an old rocket metal. That's cool. ORV trails here. So you can come in here and park your your trailer with your over the road vehicle and run some trails down to the lake, Gunderson Lake or something. It is a nice clean dump for the people that don't have a sewage at their site. They just redid it a couple of years, I think last year or the year before. Closed for a long time. They did a nice job. They did a real nice job here. Uh, wi Fi worked well once a couple more people showed up. It slowed down quite a bit for us, but still able to watch some TV last night in the rain. And uh, Stacy's able to do her work. So, Buck's Pocket. Cool park. Thumbs up. I do a thumbs up, but I'm pulling my coffee. <laughs> We got some pretty good rain last night. I don't know if you'd call it flooding condition type rain, but there's the wood pile we were picking around in. You can see how high the water was at one point. 6.30 in the morning now. We're gonna do a little travel day today. Head over to Georgia. I'm going down to see if, uh, see if the road is covered. We're not supposed to drive over it if the road is covered. And uh, it's starting to look that way. <laughs> we might have a little delay getting out of this park. There's a road. That looks like a that looks like a bunch of water, doesn't it? Huh. Well. It is covered. We're not supposed to drive over that road with so the water on it, but it's only an inch or so. Maybe in a couple hours this will wash out. This is just a tiny little creek. Runs up into the mountain. Boy, that hike would be cool right now. Ha! The road is clear of water, yay! Thanks for a great time, Buck's Pocket.